A surveyor would like to measure the distance between two points A and B, both located on the northern side of a river, while he is on the southern side and cannot access the northern side. Using his tools, here are the measurements he has made. Length CD is 112 meters, angle ACD 88 degrees, angle BCD is 78 degrees, angle ADC 65 degrees, angle BDC 73 degrees. Using this information, find the length AB. Assume all of the points to be on the same plane. In a problem like that, the best thing we can do is to write down the information on the sketch provided. So the information is that the length CD is 112 meters. I will write that down. 112 meters is from point C to point D. Then the angle ACD, which is this angle, is 88 degrees. The angle BCD, which is this angle, is 78 degrees. The angle ADC, which is this angle, is 65 degrees. And the angle BDC, which is this angle, is 70 three degrees. After writing the information, I will check what quantities I can calculate. If we look at the triangle ACD, I will sketch down that triangle here, ACD. I can see that the length CD is given, so is the angle ACD which is 88 degrees and so is the angle ADC which is 65 degrees. In this triangle two angles and the side between them are known. We know from the sine law that in this triangle we can find all of the unknowns. That includes both of the other sides and the angle CAD. Of course to find the angle you don't need the sine law. You need to apply the knowledge that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Now let's see whether this would help us um, approach finding the length AB which is what we are looking for. Now if I can find AC this length would be given. I also note that in the triangle BCD, which I'm going to sketch here, the angle BCD, which is 78 degrees, and the angle BDC, which is 73 degrees, and the length CD, 112 meters are known. Again, using the sine law, I can find the two sides BC and BD. That would mean that I could calculate the length CB, which is this length. Now, if we look at the triangle ABC, I will sketch it down here. This length would be given, and this length would be given as well. If I have the angle between the two sides, then I have the situation of two sides and an angle between them being known, which means I would be able to find all of the unknowns in that triangle, including the length AB, which is what we are looking for. Therefore, we have a plan now on how to find the unknown AB. Let's now do all of the calculations in detail. Let's look at the triangle ACD. I will need the angle A, 
in order to be able to use the sine law. The angle A plus the angle C plus the angle D together would be 180 degrees. That means that the angle A would be 180 degrees minus 65 degrees minus 88 degrees which is equal to 27 degrees. I will write down this information on my sketch 27 degrees. Now I can apply the sine law and I will have sine 65 degrees that is D divided by AC is equal to sine 27 degrees divided by 112. We can use this equation to find the length AC. We cross multiply both sides and we get 112 times sine 65 degrees is equal to sine 27 degrees times AC. And if we divide both sides by sine 27 degrees, we get AC is equal to 112 sine 65 degrees divided by sine 27 degrees. If you use our calculator, we see that the length AC is equal to 223.6 meters. Now let's look at the triangle BCD. Again, we can find the angle B to be 180 degrees minus 78 degrees minus 73 degrees. This is equal to 29 degrees. I will write down this information on the sketch. 29 degrees. Now I can apply the sine law and I would have sine of 73 degrees divided by BC is equal to sine 29 degrees divided by 112. If we cross multiply this equation and solve for BC, we find that BC is equal to 220.9 meters. Now let's look at the triangle ACB. We have the side AC. This is 223.6 meters. We have the side CB, which is 220.9 meters. If we find the angle C, we can use the cosine law to find AB. Now to find the angle ACB, let's look at the original sketch. The angle ACB is this angle. It is equal to 88 degrees, which is the total angle, minus 78 degrees, which is a portion of the total angle. Therefore, the angle ACB is equal to 88 degrees minus 78 degrees, which is equal to 10 degrees. Let's re-sketch the triangle A, B, C. We have the length AC to be 223.6 meters. And we have the length BC, the side BC, to be 220.9 meters. And we have the angle ACB to be 10 degrees. We can now use cosine law 
to find AB. From cosine law, we know that AB squared is equal to 223.6 squared plus 220.9 squared minus twice 223.6 times 220.9 times cosine of 10 degrees. If we use our calculator, we can see that the length AB is approximately equal to 38.8 .8 meters.